So I'm sitting here having a bad acid trip in Salem. Which one? The one with the witches, of course. Got here yesterday and I was charmed. Felt the hocus pocus flowing through. Like someone might want to do the hokey pokey with me once I plant some seeds and craft up some brew. I'm not talking beer or love spell, perhaps. The power within, I don't need outside ingredients. It's all in here. Breathe, relax. Alakazam, hoorah. Speaking backwards in tongues, if you get my drift. Would you rather be here or somewhere else? I mean, here they don't sell menthol, so that is a bit inconvenient, but you can't base where you live based on your vices unless you live in Atlantic City or Las Vegas or Salem and your vice is voodoo and hoodoo and witchcraft. Lovecraft, I'm crafting love with each word released like a spell possessed by the power of prayer. Oh, did I scare you with that word? It used to scare me. But prayer is not worship, it's loving intention, a divine intervention of the power you have within sharing with anyone you care to mention. Like loved ones and friends and people going through trying times. Believe in the power of your will, but we say uh, thoughts and prayers, thoughts and prayers. Well, if money exists, guess what? Thoughts and prayers would be all we need. But you're all too brainwashed by currency to see it's not even needed. Can we live in a universe where you're like, what? Money? What a strange concept. To have things valued more than others? That's weird. Because it is. We're all needed. We're all a piece of a puzzle. Some are smaller, some are bigger, some like to go farther, some like to go deeper. Others like to swim in shallow waters and that's okay. The heavy duty lifting is not for everybody. Just ask Tesla and Da Vinci. You think they were the life of the party? Anytime they went into other people's reality? I don't think so, it was pretty boring for them. That's why Tesla fell in love with a pigeon, or so it's said to be. But you never really know because people like to lie all throughout history. It's basically just centuries of lies and millennia of mistruths. So here's an idea, why don't you find truth in you? Access the Akashic records or speak to your divine. The answers are out there, the truth is out there. Mulder and Scully know it, it's not just the X-Files. It's all the files of everything, all at once, because everything's happening always, all at once. But for now, I'm gonna end this happening so I can get back to this blunt. So I'm in Salem, Massachusetts, I should be pretty high in case a spirit comes by like it did last night in New Hampshire when I went to Salem to buy cigarettes. Menthol, 40 minutes, that's an addiction. And I saw something in the woods, I said, I saw that in the woods, and then it saw me. And it jumped to me because I had the chills for like an hour after that. And I smoked a blunt standing in two state lines at the same time. And that was a way to end that night. And that's the way to end this. So hope you have a great day. Embrace your inner witch and wizard and make magic happen because it's within you.